Hey you guys, welcome to the Blending with Henry show. It's my first big video for 2020. I'm really excited and I have a lot to share with you guys. So let's get started. Today I'll be taking on a trip to the Barringer Winery in Napa Valley, undoubtedly one of my favorite places to visit. Now it's one of the oldest wineries in the wine country. I'll be showing you guys unique wines you can't buy at local stores, as well as showing you my favorite wine varietals and something you may have not known about white wine that you can actually buy locally. Then I'm introducing you to Breville's wine and spirits decanter called the Sommelier. It's simple, yet it brings out the best of your wine like you've never tasted before. Then I'm going to be showing you guys how to pair wine with delicious sautéed vegetables. And of course, a Blending with Henry show wouldn't be complete without a Vitamix recipe. I'll be sharing with you my recipe called Cucumber Avocado Dill Sauce. It's crazy good! And I'll be drizzling this over vegetables and showing you a complete meal accompanied with wine and how to garnish it. Hey you guys, how you doing? Welcome to the Blending with Henry show. My name is Henry. We are in Napa Valley, California at the Behringer Winery Vineyards. So I'm going to show you some different type of wine varietals and I'm going to show you a brand new machine from Breville called the Breville Sommelier. So come on and join me. There is just something about the wine country that's so breathtaking and stress relieving. Now along with those beautiful vineyards, you'll find bed and breakfast cottages and health spas that are so fitting. Now for many, it's the perfect weekend getaway or that special day trip for when you need that me time to get away from it all. I visit the wine country often and never miss a trip to Behringer. It's one of the wineries that's hidden off the road. Now once you make it up the driveway, you're greeted with what looks to be a majestic castle. And if you guys think this looks amazing, it's even better on the inside. Now of course you can buy wine anywhere, but when you visit the wine country, you're coming for the experience. Being able to taste wines of different varietals, unique only to the winery you're visiting. Now it's the little things that matter, such as the free gourmet olives the winery provides while you're sitting in the well-landscaped courtyard sipping wine. The attention to detail is astounding. Look closely at the quality of the woodwork. In the courtyard, the fountain is a masterpiece and it symbolizes how much time and effort Behringer puts in so their visitors will have an unforgettable experience. That's my nephew right there. He shot the beautiful picture shown in this video. Now here's a small portion of the courtyard. Now this is really a big property, so I couldn't show it all to you guys. But you can see how well kept and well put together this place is. Now they really want you to come back, okay? <laughs> now that's me chatting it up with the winery manager. Aside from my blending life, I share with you guys that I perform the National Anthem in the Oakland A's games every summer. But what you don't know about me is I've been studying wine since age 18. That would be about three years, okay? <laughs> this winery dates back to the 1800s. Upgrades were done, obviously, to keep the winery in stellar shape. Check out a few of these nice pictures. My nephew and I got special access to the underground cave as you see me walking in. Nobody else was allowed. This was awesome! In the cave there were very old oak barrels and if you look closely there are pictures attached to them of celebrities that have visited Behringer such as Clark Gable. The attention to detail is simply mind-blowing. Check out the artwork on these historic wine barrels. This is perhaps my favorite historic picture in the private cave. This gentleman is Jacob Behringer. He's one of the founders of Behringer Brothers Winery in St. Helena. Now I'm going to show you guys a bunch of amazing photographs and supersonic speed before we get to the finale. Now you guys, this is a corridor to a very private cave that Behringer allowed us to explore, but they had some very unique things in there I'm unable to share with you guys. Eh, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> 
I bought a couple of other wines I'm going to show you later, but the last thing at the winery I want to share with you guys is the dessert wine called Nightingale. Now I kid you not when I say it's the best wine I've ever tasted in the Napa Valley. Now dessert wines generally come in smaller bottles because they are sweet and consumed in small quantities. Now think of it as the best cognac you've ever had. It's a powerful flavor of fruit in your mouth with an unexplainable taste that sets it apart from the rest. Now it's pricey at $75 a bottle, but if you're a lover of port wine, you'll undoubtedly give up the best port for this. So you guys, it was like fate. Breville sent me a $200 off coupon for my customers if they were interested in ordering their latest creation called the Sommelier. Now the reason why I say it was fate is because as I mentioned earlier, I'm a big wine guy. Now I've been studying the art of it for years, but being that I live close enough to Napa Valley, I got a lot of my education from just visiting the wineries, asking questions, and of course, a lot of tasting. <laughs> yeah. Now you guys, the Breville Sommelier sells for $499.95 USD. Now right now on Amazon, the lowest price is around $450 USD. Now if you use my link below the video or on BlendingWithHenry.com and apply my exclusive $200 off coupon for a limited time, you can get it for $299.95 USD. Now if you're into wine, you may have occasionally heard people mispronounce this word saying sommelier. Sem al e ye. That would be incorrect. Okay. <laughs> now, the proper way to pronounce it is sommelier. So that would be some, l, and yay. Now, for some of you who have never heard of the word sommelier, it's a fancy name for a wine steward. A sommelier has professional training with certification, and you'll find them in upscale restaurants. Now, I was really excited that Breville created this product because their products, to me, I've always found to be very well built and they put a lot of attention to detail. Now, simply put, this is a wine decanter. Now, what generally takes one to two hours of decanting will be done in one minute with the sommelier. Now, you've probably seen this obnoxious looking object on top of wine bottles. Okay, be nice, you guys. Okay. <laughs> Now, maybe not necessarily this design, but this is a wine aerator, and these sell for about $10. Now, these work perfectly fine for newer wines, and what they do is make the wine more drinkable, but they don't do the same work as decanting. The sommelier is very simple to operate, and it comes with a 25 fluid ounce carafe. Now, you can purchase the optional 7 fluid ounce carafe for smaller quantities. Now in the box, you'll get all the necessary materials such as an extra air filter, silicone vibration dampening pad, and I like the fact that it has a detachable power cord, so if it needs replacing, you won't have to send the whole machine in for repair. Now before you get started, you want to go to the app store on your smart device and download the iFavin app. Now it's a tool that tells you what setting to use for the sommelier based on the wine varietal, age, and region. Now here's how it works. Go to the recommendation page and fill in the required info about your wine. Now, by the way, the sommelier also works with spirits. Now, the first thing you're going to do is choose the country. And in my case, it'll be the United States. Now, I'm choosing the region, which would be California. Now, I'm choosing the grape varietal. Now, there's many to choose from, but this would be Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, you also choose the vintage, and this will be for a year 2017, and the alcohol content will be 14%. Now, you press the recommendation button, and it will tell you how long of decanting time to choose. Now, this will be an hour and 35 minutes. Now, on the sommelier display to the left, you will see the actual time it will take for normal decanting. And on the right of the display is the actual oxygenating time it takes for the sommelier based on what's shown on the left. So all you have to do now is turn the dial until the left display reaches the recommended time in the app. And in this case, it will be an hour and 30 minutes. And then the next setting up is an hour and 45 minutes. So we're going to stick with an hour and 30 minutes. As I mentioned earlier, actual decanting time is 1 hour and 30 minutes. Now the oxygenating time for the sommelier will be only 1 minute and 30 seconds. Now this can be beneficial if you're throwing a dinner party and you can't put in the time for 1 to 2 hours for standard decanting. Now I'm going to show you guys how easy this is. 
First, you want to place the silicone dampening pad on top to reduce vibration and stabilize the carafe. Then place the carafe on top. Now for the wine. Now I'm using a lower cost wine, you guys, for demonstration because decanting is most beneficial for older wines and I wanted to see how this would turn out. And often people buy modest priced bottles of wine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the wine. Now if you can, to avoid including the sediment, don't pour the entire bottle of wine. Now, all you have to do is press the start button to begin oxygenation. So what's happening here is the sommelier is pumping 90% pure oxygen into the wine via the tube in the special design carafe. Now this will speed up the normal time of 1 hour and 30 minutes decanting time into 1 minute and 30 seconds and your wine is ready to drink. Now I've saved some of the wine in the bottle for testing. And the carafe holds the oxygenated wine. So I'm going to go ahead and give a pour of the wine from the bottle first. And now the oxygenated wine. So here's the hardest part of my job. I have to taste the wine for you guys, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> let me give this a little try right now. Okay, so this is a typical Cabernet, and I like this wine. I've had it often. Now it has the typical oaky taste, which is common for red wine. Now I'm going for the same red wine, but this is oxygenated. Okay, I'm just trying to collect my thoughts. Now, to be honest with you guys, I didn't expect this. Wow, this is fire. Firstly, the edginess of the oak taste is much smoother and easier to drink. Secondly, the fruit is so very pronounced. It's so powerful in flavor. I have bought this wine quite often and I have never tasted it like this. I kid you not. This is the first time I've really enjoyed this wine. So, to reiterate, this is the wine straight from the bottle and this is the same wine oxygenated from the Breville Sommelier. It doesn't take a wine connoisseur to tell the difference. This special carafe makes a $10 bottle of wine taste like it's been aged for years. And yes, I'm finishing this off. Okay. <laughs> when you're pairing wine with vegetables, you want to have a good sauce to garnish with that complements the meal. Now, I created this cucumber avocado dill sauce in the Vitamix. I can't wait to share it with you guys. But first, I'm going to saute some veggies. Now you guys, I love sauteed asparagus. It's perhaps one of the more popular green vegetables at high-end restaurants rather than the common broccoli or cut carrot. But you can season them with salt, pepper, and garlic powder so long as they don't overpower in flavor. And they go really great with white wine. To create my cucumber avocado dill sauce recipe, I'm using the Vitamix Ascent A3500 with a 48 ounce container. So the first ingredient is a fresh avocado. Now use a large avocado with the seed removed. Next is rough chopped cucumber with the skin on. Keeping the skin on adds more nutrients. Fresh dill. Now I always buy it in the bunch. It smells amazing you guys. Now add a few sprigs to your liking. Roughly two tablespoons. Now you really can't go wrong with dill because it's not very overpowering so you don't have to worry if you think you put too much. Maybe add just a little bit more. One medium garlic clove. The Blended Up Southwest Spice Blend. Now, I use it in so many recipes because it blends so well. Now it adds a little bit of kick. It's 100% vegan and non-GMO. You guys have got to get a jar of the Blended Up Southwest Spice Blend. Now it's that missing ingredient in a lot of recipes. Now I'm adding one teaspoon and I assure you it goes a very long way.
a small bit of lime juice because it goes so well with recipes using avocado. Coarse kosher salt. Now the recipe will reveal the amount, but you can salt to your liking. Extra virgin olive oil. Now although there's good fats from the avocado, this adds more flavor and richness. I'm adding some water so the sauce will pour well. Now you might say oil and water don't mix, but I assure you they do in a Vitamix. I'm snapping my lid in place. And I'm going to use the S2 low profile tamper to help process the ingredients since this is a rich and creamy sauce. All right, you guys, all done, about a minute long. Now I'm gonna show you how it looks. I'm very proud of this creation of mine because it has fresh ingredients. And speaking of fresh, the cucumber and the dill give it a really fresh taste. The blended up Southwest Spice Blend really wakes it up and the lime juice gives it a nice citrus taste. It's so creamy from the avocado and look at that amazing light green color. Now you can drizzle this over fish as well as use it as a guiltless dip for when you're trying to move away from dairy. Before I serve the meal, I want to show you guys a couple of very nice bottles of wine I purchased at Behringer Wineries. Now for the red, I got the Knights Valley Reserve. It's nearly pure Cabernet Sauvignon with a small blend of other reds. Vintage 2016. It has notes of herb and spice and very full body. Good with hearty meat, salmon, and dark chocolate. My favorite. $60. Now the other is the Carnero Chardonnay. Now this is $30. If you're looking for a modest priced bottle of Chardonnay, but you need to impress your guests, make sure it carries the Carneros label. The Carneros region of Napa and Sonoma grow some of the best Chardonnay grapes, and they produce very rich and full body wines and have an unmatched flavor. Now you can get a bottle of Carnero Chardonnay right in your grocery store. To serve this to a guest, I like using an applicator bottle. It just gives that chef's appeal. So I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle the cucumber avocado dill sauce over the asparagus. Now it looks so gourmet, right? Now if you want more, don't be afraid to add more. The more sauce, the better. Right? <laughs> I'm pouring up a second glass of the Carnero Chardonnay that I oxygenated earlier from the Breville Sommelier. Now Chardonnay is a full body white wine and pairs perfectly with sauteed seasoned vegetables and their rich creamy cucumber avocado dill sauce. And lastly add some crusty fresh bread and a container of some extra virgin olive oil for dipping the bread into and there you go. You can make this a nice light and full meal for yourself or you can add grilled fish to the mix for a complete dinner. You've got to try it. I had so much fun with you guys. So to recap the show today, we went on a fun trip to the Behringer Winery. What an amazing highlight. Then I showed you the Breville Sommelier. It literally turns a $20 bottle of wine into a $200 vintage. Now it's $499.95 USD, so make sure to use my $200 off coupon, it's a Henry exclusive. Then the blended up Southwest Spice Blend, my favorite recipe enhancer. And lastly, my cucumber avocado dill sauce. Now you can grab the recipe, the coupon promo, and more information below above the comments. Alright you guys, if you're interested in ordering the products shown in the video, please support Blending with Henry so I may continue to bring you more future content. See you soon.